Love disarmed Matthew Pryor beneath a myrtle's verdant shade as Clo half asleep was laid, Cupid perched lightly on her breast, and in that he even desired to rest, over her paps his wings he spread, between he found a downy bed, and nestled in his little head. Still lay the god, the nymph surprised, yet mistress of herself, devised, how she the vagrant might enthrall, and captive him, who captives all. Her bodice halfway she unlocked, about his arms she slily cast the silken bond, and held him fast. The god ah wept, and thrice in vain he strove to break the cruel chain, and thrice in vain he shook his wing, encumbered in a silken string. Fluttering the god, and weeping said, Pity poor Cupid, generous maid, who happened, being blind, to stray, and on thy bosom lost his way, who strayed, alas! But knew too well, he never there must hope to dwell. Set an unhappy prisoner free, who ne'er intended harm to thee. To me pertains not, she replies, to know or care where Cupid flies. What are his haunts, or which his way? Where he would dwell, or whither stray, yet will I never set thee free, for harm was meant, and harm to me. Vain fears that vex thy virgin heart. I'll give thee up my bow and dart, untangle but this cruel chain, and freely let me fly again. Agreed. Secure my virgin heart, instant give up thy bow and dart, the chain I'll in return unto, and freely thou again shalt fly. Thus she the captive did deliver, the captive thus gave up his quiver. The god disarmed, ere since that day passes his life in harmless play. Flies round, or sits upon her breast, a little, fluttering, idle guest. ere since that day the beauteous maid governs the world in Cupid's stead. Directs his arrow as she wills. Gives grief, or pleasure. Spares, or kills.